Number 18. If P3 remains at 5780, what revised cross sectional area for segment AB will result in no change of length when all three loads are applied? We can use the same equation kasi same ng condition, magiging, magiging no change in length pa din. So we have 12, 9 minus P3 times 1525 over 250 times 72,000. So ang ibahin daw ay yung area ni segment AB. So ito yung magiba. So instead na 250, hindi na siya 250. So let's say A sub AB. And then, same na rin yung iba. Yung area for the other segment, 250 pa din. 340 minus P3 times 610 divided by 250 times 72,000 plus negative P3 910 over 250, 72,000. Okay? So, according to the problem, P3 remains 5780. So, substitute nyo yung value ni P3 na 5780. And then, we can compute for the value of A sub AB. Okay, so, let's solve. Yeah, so, AB is 491.027821 millimeter square. And that is letter C. Three vertical rods are all strain-free when they are initially pinned to a straight, rigid, horizontal beam BF. Subsequently, heating of the rods causes them to elongate and leaves the beam in the position denoted by GHI. So, uminit daw yung mga bars. So, syempre, due to thermal expansion, kapag tumataas ang temperature ng steel bars, actually ng any bars, so, nag -e elongate sila by a certain amount. So, ganito daw yung nangyari no, nung nagkaroon ng temperature change. So, from horizontal, kumaba yung mga bars. So, ang nangyari, ganyan na yung naging position ng GHI. Point D moves, ano sabi? Point D moves vertically downward by a distance of 5 millimeters. The, in, the, ingli, the inclination angle of the beam is 0 0.4 degrees. Calculate the normal strain in rad AB. Okay. So, in determining the normal strain, that is simply the deformation over the original length. No? So, kailangan lang natin alamin yung original length. Ay, sorry. Kailangan lang natin mag-alamin kung ano yung naging deformation ni AB. I-divide lang natin ang length. Ganun lang kasimple. No? So, based on the figure, ganito daw yung naging position no? nung bars or no ating rigid beam. Ayan. So, yung bottom na lang yung dinrawing ko. Ha? So, yung point di daw, bumaba ng 5 mm. So, ngayon, i-compute natin kung ano yung naging deformation ni segment AB. So, let's say, ito yun, deformation of segment AB. And then, let's say, this one, ito naman yung magiging deformation ni segment EF. So, as we can see, as we can see, pwede tayo mag-ratio and proportion kasi mayroon tayong similar triangle dito sa baba. So, pag itodrawing ko itong triangle na nandito sa baba, ito, itong triangle na nasa baba, as you can see, if this is deformation AB, kapag sinubtract natin yung deformation ni EF from segment AB, ito na siya, di ba? Which is this one. So, ibig sabihin, yung segment na to, that is deformation of AB minus deformation of EF. Ito naman, yung maliit dito, ito naman ay 5mm minus the deformation of EF. So, by ratio in proportion, Similar triangles, so we take the ratio of the corresponding sides. Deformation AB minus deformation of EF all over the horizontal distance, which is 0.9 plus 0.6 equals 
5 minus the formation of EF all over 0 0.6. Okay? Diba? So, aside from that, given ka ng angle of inclination, no? So, from the angle of inclination, kung given pala yung angle of inclination, pwede tayong gumamit ng trigonometric function, no? So, if this is 0.6 meters, tangent of 0 0.4 degrees is equal to opposite, which is 5 minus delta EF over adjacent, 0 0.6. So, with that, pwede mo nang makompute si deformation EF. So, kailangan lang natin ipagparehas yung units kasi nakameter yung mga distances mo. Nakamillimeter si 5. So, dapat gawin natin itong 600. So, deformation of segment EF is 0 0.811 for 17417. Okay? That is in millimeters. So, pag nasolve mo si EF, pwede mo siyang i-substitute sa equation na to. So, makukuha mo na rin si segment AB. Or, gamit ka ulit ng trigo functions, tangent 0 0.4 degrees ulit, deformation AB minus deformation AB minus deformation EF all over 900 plus 600. So, pwedeng ganyan. O, gamitin mo yung ratio in proportion natin. So, substitute lang natin dito si EF pwede na natin makompute ang deformation ni segment AB. The deformation of segment AB is 11.2832873. So, in, get, in getting the strain, we just take the ratio. Let's say, pinakompute for number 19, the normal strain in rad AB. So, that is simply the deformation over the original length of AB. Actually, walang unit ang normal strain, pero according dun sa mga choices, meron siyang nilagyan ng units, no? Millimeter per meter. So actually, para rin siyang nagka-cancel kasi ang millimeter at meter, parehas silang unit of length. But to follow the prescribed units, so i-divide natin yung deformation by the corresponding length. So ang length ni AB in meters is 1.8. So, millimeter tapos meter. Hindi mo, hindi mo i-convert yung meter kasi ang nirequire na unit is millimeter per meter. Okay? So, solve natin yan. We have, that is 6.268 millimeter per meter. That is letter B. Next. Calculate the normal strain in rad CD. So, for rad CD, that is simply deformation ni CD over length ni CD. So, 5 mm ang deformation ni CD. Ang kanyang original length ay 1.2 meters. So, therefore, the strain, the normal strain in segment CD is 4.167 mm per meter. And then, lastly, strain broad EF. So, deformation EF divided by the length of EF. And that is... Substitute lang natin. Then, divide by the length of EF. According to the problem, ang length is 1.2. Therefore, the strain in segment EF is so 0 0.676 millimeters per meter. Okay, and that is letter D.